Hi everyone. We're going to uh, solve the following exponential equations without using logs. I have four examples here. This is the first one. So when you're solving these, we want our bases to be the same. These are the bases, and you want them to be small. So what we're going to do is write this as 3 raised to the power 3x minus 8. <coughs> I'm going to write this as 3 squared. And then you multiply whatever we have here. Now since my bases match, all I need to do is solve for x here. Because we want the left side to look like the right side. So we have 3x minus 8 equals 10x. Now you solve for x, so you group your x's together. So I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. And you get negative 8 equals 7x. <coughs> and divide both sides by 7 to solve for x. So you get x equals negative 8 over 7. Okay, the next one is this one. The first thing I want to do is my product property. I know that a to the m times a to the n equals a to the m plus n. So in this case, this is like your m, and this part is like your n. So I'm going to write it as a single uh, base. So I'm going to write 7 as my a, and then I'm going to add my m plus n. So it's going to be x plus 3x plus 1. Now I want my base to be the same here, so I'm going to write this as 7 squared. And you multiply the 2 part to whatever's already in your power there, your exponential power. Since my bases now are the same, all I have to do is solve for x here in your exponent. So that this part right here is going to be 4x plus 1 equals 10x plus 60. So I'm going to do multi-step solving here. I'm going to subtract the 4x from both sides. I'm just going to be collecting like terms. And I'm just going to subtract 60 from both sides. So when you do that, these cancel. And this is going to be negative 59. And when you uh, subtract these two, you get uh, 6x and these zero out. That would be plus zero. Okay, so then you just divide both sides by six. So you get x equals negative 59 over six. Okay, the next one is this one. So basically, I want my bases to be the same. So I'm going to let my bases, you make them small as possible. I'm going to let it be two squared times two x minus one equals 2 cubed times 3x plus 2. Now that my bases are the same, we just have to deal with uh, this solving for x. And this would be 4x minus 2. Don't forget to distribute the 2 here. That's a common mistake. So you distribute uh, both places. And you get 9x plus 6. I'm going to use um, multi-step solving. So I'm subtracting the 4x, mainly because I want my x to be positive, and I'm going to also subtract 6 from here. Alright, so that zeroes out, and you get negative 8. This will zero out, and this will be 5x. <coughs> so x equals negative 8 over 5. Okay, and the last one I have is this one. Uh, I want my basis to be 5. I'm going to use my quotient property. I know a to the m over a to the n equals a to the m minus n. So this is going to be your m part. This is your n part. So I'm going to write this as 5 to the 2x plus 5 minus 
whatever we have here, which is, that's your n part. Uh, so that's going to be minus 6x. So that's that uh, left side. Now this is really 1 over 5 cubed. Then you multiply it by this, whatever's there, which is x. <coughs> um, I also want to uh, have base 5. So in order to do that, I want to move this up in the numerator. And you use your uh, um, negative exponent property, and that's just going to be 5 to the negative 1. And then you multiply it by whatever we have, which is 3x. Okay, so now that I have my basis the same, I'm just going to simplify everything. This is 2x plus 5, uh, this is like negative 1 times negative 6 is positive 6x, equals negative 1 times 3x is negative 3x. <coughs> so we get 8x plus 5 equals negative 3x. Since I want my x positive, I'm going to go ahead and add 3x to both sides with like terms, and I'm going to subtract 5x, because you could put a plus 0 here if you want. And then this cancels, and this will cancel, so we get 11x equals negative uh, 5, so x equals negative 5 elevenths. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.